Part 4 To your right, coiled around the legs of one of the other prisoners, rests a whip. Analyzing the room for cover and your ability to reach due to your restraints, you feel pretty confident you could obtain this. But what would be the use? Your head swivels for ideas. Pieces of an unorthodox puzzle click against each other. Thoughts swirl. The keys. No, those are on the guard. There's no way that I can whip them off of him. I'm more likely to wake him. Pausing, you place your palms firmly against the rock wall, pushing to see how hard it would be to stand silently. Sliding your feet under you, you gently rock your center of gravity. This may be an option. Dropping back to the ground, you assess the area for other opportunities. The door keys are hanging across the room on their rack. The door is right in front of you. One of the three that you currently see in the room. Thoughts of using the whip to secure those before dealing with the jailer also arise. You also realize, though, if you miss, or if the keys slip, it could cause any guards outside and the one inside to wake up and barge in. So, what's it going to be? If you choose to whip the guard awake, go to part nine. If you choose to attempt to secure the door keys though, go to part 10. Good luck. <laughs>